is a, literally an absolute pleasure. I uh, adore Julie Montgomery, our speaker today. Uh, she's the owner of Kindred Fair Trade in Santa Rosa, a gift shop offering unique international treasures handmade by artisans in developing country. And one of my first most memorable moments of Julie was watching and learning from her, her unique ability to network as she engaged at an event for credit union professionals. It blew me away. I am so thrilled to welcome Julie, our professional development session today, The Art of Networking. So Julie, take it away. Awesome. Thank you so much, Samantha. You are so sweet. <laughs> I appreciate that. And when Samantha asked me to do this, I immediately said yes, because everything that Samantha does is high quality. All right, so here's kind of an overview of what we're going to go over. So the three pillars that I think are the most key when it comes to networking, that is your mindset, your strategy, and your follow-up. The things that you do, think about your networking as part of something that's going to fit into a bigger plan. You've probably read this quote before. At the end of the day, people won't remember what you said or did. They will remember how you made them feel. And so that is the mindset that I go into when networking. Um, or maybe even in life in general. Before you go to that networking event, think about how you're going to do that. You're there to bring value. So you're gonna give, 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 and focus on those relationships, not make it about the transaction. So you probably heard these statistics as well. In-person communication, 55% depends on facial expressions and posture. The energy you bring, how you are interacting with the person matters so much and how they are receiving you. I know it's hard sometimes because if you're an introvert like I am, it takes so much energy <laughs> to be present and active in an environment like that where there's a lot of people around. Um, but with, with practice, again, with practice, it, you know, it gets a lot easier. So here are my three strategies when I'm actually there in the room with people. The first one is body language. Obviously, like I said, you're listening. So you're looking at the person. Um, you're not looking at your phone. You're not looking over their head to see who else is in the room, but you're actively engaged and you're paying attention and you care. The other thing is to ask open-ended questions asking somebody what they do, or hey, have you been here before? They don't start very, very interesting conversations. So one of the questions I like to ask after I've sort of gotten a sense of what they do for a living, I'll say, oh, what motivated you to get into that business? You know, just trying to, to get at what their what motivates them as a person what are they passionate about you know what you know what gets them excited what kind of struggles do they have so i try to come in with a you know handful of those types of questions so i have them at the ready that to help me get to know people a little bit better i highly encourage you to put it into a story of some kind um, so uh, because what you're, you know, a lot of times we think we have to say our name, where we work, how long we work there, you know, you know, get, like hit all these high points to get across the information. But what you really want to do is actually give them the desire to learn more. So if you tell them a story, something very interesting that happened around work or what have you, they'll, they'll be intrigued. And then they'll be interested in you as a person. This is a quote that I've told my stepdaughters <laughs> um, as they were growing up. Go the extra mile because in reality, it's just five feet. I have no idea who said that. But whether, whether she was, you know, doing a project for school or trying to get a job or, you know, helping someone, it's like the most people, you know, they don't do anything extra. So the bar is really low. So in order to stand out, you actually don't have to do that much. And so um, I want you to have that message as you think about your follow up, what to do and what not to do. So again, remember your goal is to meet them again. It's not to how can I sell to this person, but how can I meet them again and keep this relationship going? You got to have the mindset before you go that you're going in to give, give, give. And then you're going to prepare your strategy, you're going to have your story, and you're going to go in with energy, and you're going to listen to what they are um, telling you. And then you're going to follow up. You want that follow up with this whole networking thing to fit in a bigger um, strategy that you have.